Hey guys, welcome to the Manga Mark channel. Today I am watching One Piece episode 591. Uh, now, we will be back in the next video with two episodes, guys. But unfortunately, um, I downloaded these two to watch tonight. Uh, I didn't realise that episode 590 was a filler. So, uh, it's like a, a crossover with like Dragon Ball and Toriko. Okay, <laughs> my mistake there. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm still gonna jump in and watch this one, and then like I said, we'll be back in the next one with the with a couple of episodes. Now, I don't know what this. We, obviously, we got the reveal of Caesar Clown in the in the last episode, and we got kind of an explanation from Smoker that was like the blame of what happened here at Punk Hazard was put on Vega Punk because he was like the the head scientist. But it was actually Caesar Clown that caused this. Um, so, and they tried to capture him, but he escaped because of his double fruit. And now he's came back here and he seems to be working for someone called Joker. He had to call and ask for this Joker's permission, you know? So, who's Joker? Because my, my theory about it being a warlord it's kind of taking some hits, right? Because Law was revealed to be a warlord and then um, you'd think, is, is a warlord going to risk working with this guy after the world government? Like, what's happened here and, like, you know, the, what the world government thinks of him? I don't know. I don't know. It's tough. Um, but obviously Law, we got to see ugh, how crazy his devil fruit is. Um, and what he's done to the crew, he swapped their bodies around, which is just, you know, some funny moments so far. But, and then he swapped Tashigi and the uh, Smoker, which is just, like, seeing Smoker and Tashigi's bo body is hilarious as well. And just seeing Tashigi sitting there as Smoker, like, all kind of sheepish. It's, it is funny, right? It is funny, but... Uh, I'm wondering, I, I'm, I, well, I'm not wondering, I'm hoping that Law doesn't have much to do with this place. Like, I, I, I want to know his motives and stuff, but the fact that they're abducting children, they're abducting children and apparently someone from the G5 has covered up the fact that this is happening, which is also something we found out in the last one. So let's get into this here, guys. Let's get into this episode and see if we get some more answers. That's what I'm looking for right now is answers. I, I want I want to be comforted by uh, someone telling me that law isn't a part of this these shady dealings or he's working with these people for a reason, you know. I don't want him to, you know, go go to that side. I don't like law and kid. I'm always looking forward to seeing them. In fact, most of the supernovas at this point, right? Um, I do believe there's probably going to be certain ones that are going to be antagonistic towards us. That's unavoidable, right? But, you know, it just, it feels, that's, I, I want to see um, at least Kid and Law having that kind of rivalry with Luffy and not being actual enemies. But yeah, guys, let's get into it. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Everyone that has comes back, watches, comments, likes all these videos. Thank you guys so, so much. I really appreciate it. And yeah, let's do this. One Piece episode 591. Let's go. Okay, Sanji's gonna go after Kinemon. Oh no, no, no! Don't let these two, don't let these two go away with Nami's body. The worst two. Yeah, Nami, you need to go. Do you know what was throwing me off? Right, I think it's funny the body change thing. Okay, she's making Zoro go. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's thought, she's thought about it. I, I like the body swap thing. I think it's funny, but. I wish they'd just kept, like, the fact that it's Nami speaking with Sanji's voice, and, like, they're, I wish they'd just kept the original, like, I'd love to see, like, Frankie talking with, like, Chopper's voice, and the things he would say, like, using, you know what I mean? I think it'd be funny if they just kept the body's original voice, but it's someone else in the body. Yeah, Rob's like, don't, don't do that in Chopper's body, right? <laughs> I 
Oh, I love that Ro Robin, who's usually like like the most laid back, like it doesn't join in with these shenanigans, is getting irritated here. Oh, what's going on with these kids? Is this the sickness? Yeah, what's happening here? What? Hmm, can Chopper work out what it is? Like what? What's happening in that vial? What does this mean? Yeah. Oh, it's happening to everyone. Okay, so it's the giant ones. Something you want now. Yeah, he was he thought that the snow wall was Yeah. Okay, yeah, it was like a candy wrapper thing. Hmm. So happy. Oh no. What is this? Yeah, ask ask some questions here, Chopper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think he actually knows what's going going on there. I honestly I honestly think that him and his people have been genuinely tricked by this Caesar clown. Okay. So what is that, Chopper? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say it's like Okay. It's like they're having like withdrawal symptoms. Is that what's happening here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh no, Luffy, you can't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh man, but it's going to be a rough time for them. Yeah, they'll do anything to get it now. Oh, how are they going to react to that? Uh, yeah, a couple of them still have their senses. Yeah. Oh my. Oh, this is. Oh. God, why? I just really. I was. Oh! Oh, yeah. What just happened there? Yeah. Well, that's not really his fault, is it? Not a giant. Oh. Oh, so they thought that was the disease that they were because they were growing taller. Yeah. Oh, is this what the experiments are then? Yeah. Is it he's trying to make them into giants? Hmm. Yeah. I don't think I've seen Chopper this angry since, like, a yeah, hog back. I don't want to think about him again, but, yeah. But no wonder. I mean, come on. Luffy, we, we need to... This guy needs to be beaten. Severely, severely beaten. Hmm. Usopp. No, Usopp's got a plan. 
Yes, put them in a sleeper sock. Perfect. Nice. I love how reliable the sock is now. You know, in situations like these, these where it calls for, calls for the brain, he steps up. Perfect. Nailed it. Yep. I, I think we're going to have to maybe, maybe tie in with uh, Tashigi um, and Smoker. Cause they've got the info like with the like I think I think we're gonna we're gonna work together to save these kids. You know? Probably begrudgingly from Smoker's side, but I think it will happen. It's a similar situation to Crocodile where, you know, we need to put our differences aside here and take this on. Exactly. Robin, yep. Mm-hmm. Luffy. Ah, uh, yeah, let them deal with the samurai, Bluffy. Let's go, and, let's go and get this master. Let's go and get Caesar. Yes. Decision made. Come on, Captain, let's go. Yeah, Chopper, stay with the kids. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a little drastic, but... Yeah, if it's just, if it's just Chopper and Nami that's staying here with them, if those big ones go on the rampage again... This is the safer option. Yeah, yeah, you need to... <laughs> yeah, Luffy's, Luffy's fine with it. Zoro, Zoro, keep him in line. Oh, for no. Yeah, Brook. <laughs> Brooke loves to stir the pot. Brooke absolutely loves that. He loves to make fun of them. <laughs> oh. Is there an actual giant on this island? Oh, no way, Lord. Did you give Smoker's heart to this guy? Oh, Lord, no. I mean, I, he's a Marine, but we like Smoker. Look at his face, like there's something, what's going on with Law in this situation? Oh, this guy, this guy sucks. This guy sucks. Okay. Law didn't, Law, Law didn't understand what he was talking about there, so I don't think Law actually knows what's been going on with these kids. No mountain killers. Oh, so this is the footprint? Yeti? The Yeti Cool Brothers. Are they stronger than that? Who are they talking about? Who? Wait, what? Did they just take... No. No, we didn't see it. There's something going on there. Are they faking it? They just didn't take out Zoro, Brook, and Sanji. No, it was off screen. Something's going on here. Right, okay. So the Yeti Cool Brothers. Ugh, there's going to be something weird. There's going to be something weird. The fact that he's like, oh, when, when Oda hides the face of a character, it either means. We're going to get a super like reveal where it's like an absolute badass. Like whenever it's like an admiral or someone like that, and it's like a pure imposing, awesome design character, you're like right, okay. Or like with the warlords, you know, like it builds it up to the reveal. Or it's a gag, right? And I'm I'm guessing the fact that these guys are yetis, it's going to be a gag, right? They're going to look weird. Uh, it's going to be an Oda joke where it builds it up as if this is going to be a big suspenseful, awesome reveal and it won't be that you know it'll be something like when we saw Duval <laughs> um but yeah this Caesar clown needs to I I need him to get I, I'm getting the same kind of feelings that I was getting with uh Spandam you know where I'm like I need you to feel pain I need it I need the satisfaction of seeing you get your face smashed in um you know, because like the, the the big smile on his face when he was talking about that there, about the fact that the kids will come back because he knows he has them addicted to this candy, right? 
that's just, I mean, come on. What what else can you say? Like, there's no redeeming this guy. Uh, but thankfully, it seems like Law doesn't have an idea what he's talking about. He doesn't seem to have any knowledge on what's going on with these kids. Because when Caesar said that, it kind of looked as, as if to be like, what are you talking about? Why would they come back? So, okay. And like Law's face when he, when he was when he was holding Smoker's heart. I don't know, like, there, I think there's going to be a reason that Law is here working with this guy. I think it, I don't know if it might have something to do with Law's crew. I feel like Law could be here because he thinks that this guy, Caesar, could maybe help his crew. Maybe something's happened to his crew. He needs him, like, maybe somebody, maybe they've been poisoned and he knows about this guy's abilities. I don't know. I, I just feel like there's something going on that is, that is forcing Law to be here. I don't think he wants to be. Uh, but yeah. Oh man. Interesting stuff. And it was it was a twist as well. Like I just assumed that the bigger it was like giant children. But no, apparently they were all normal sized children when they got there. So this is what they're he's using them for test subjects for. He's trying to make these children into giants. I don't know if the candy's a part of that. I don't know if the candy's a part of them growing or if the candy's just used to keep them subdued, you know? Because he knows if he gets them addicted to this, they're not going like, you know, they're, they're going to be compliant because they want the candy. Oh, man, that sucks. You know, when, when he was, the way he was talking and the way he was acting, I, I thought to myself, is, that, is, is, he, is he like, like he's, it's like an addict. As, you know, his body is used to this. It starts, you know, when, when it goes an amount of time without it, it's starting to, can I break down and crave it? Oh, and to do that to children, oh my God, that's just horrible. You know, I can understand why Chopper's so upset, so angry. Uh, you know, like I said, I don't think he's been, I don't think I've seen him this angry since the hogback, uh, hogback stuff. <sighs> but yeah. Okay, interesting one. Interesting one. It's, it's, it's nice that, I feel like every episode now we're getting a little piece of the puzzle. We're getting a little piece of the puzzle and I like that. You know, I, I really want to think, find out who at G5 is like working for Caesar and has been covering this up because, oh my God, when Smoker gets his hands on them, because this is just despicable, you know? And I think that once Smoker and Tashigi like see... What's been going on here? What's happened with these kids? I don't think... Because I think that with most things, they'll be very apprehensive to work with the crew. Because like they kept saying, you know, that was their catchphrase at the start of this arc. Pirates will always be pirates. Like, pirates are pirates. Just don't, you know, this, that they are the bad guys. You know, but I think that even, like, from what they've seen in Alabaster, they must not... I don't know. I, just, I, I want them to look upon the straw hats, you know, maybe like the same way... Because, like, even people like uh, Alkaji, you could tell he could differentiate and look at the look at the crew and be like, right, okay, yeah, they're, you know, they're good guys. Um, even, um, I, I know it was Filler, but um, Jonathan and the, uh, oh, God, what was it? It wasn't even the place. Navarone, um, you know, and, every, and all the people in there, they, you know, they could they could distinguish. And I think he even said it to his, to his wife at the time to be like, you know, like, the, uh, we wouldn't be doing this if it, they weren't as good-natured as they were, you know, we're using this because because of who they are, um, you know, they're not like other pirates, and I, I kind of want that to happen, I really hope that by the end of this arc, like, at some, or at least at some point, Smoker and Tashigi and the, the G5 are working with the crew, um, you know, because I think that when they find out about the kids and what's happened here, that's, you know, I think that trumps their kind of like, oh, we can't be working with pirates. I think to save these children, especially because of the nature of both Smoker and Tashiri, they'll they'll be on board with that. But yeah, guys, interesting stuff. We're going to see in the next episode what's going to, what episodes, what's going to be happening. Um, hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, cool, brothers. Uh, 
kids addicted to a, sp a special drug by this guy. And it's like, it, what makes me sad is that Brownbeard is still kind of saying to himself, no, I trust the master. Like he's, he's clearly helping these kids. They're acting this way because they haven't got their treatment. We know the truth. We know the truth because what we saw in the last episode as well about like what he thinks of like Blackbeard and these centaur guys. You know, every, I think everybody, in his eyes, everybody's a test subject. Everybody's a test subject. And it's it's sad at how much belief and like reverence they have for him. And they don't know what he's actually like. But hopefully we get some more, we get some more, you know, answers in the next episodes, guys. If you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Everyone that has and comes back, watches, comments, likes all these videos. Thank you guys so, so much. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.